Commitment 2024 tonight. We are now learning the details of Nikki Haley's visit to New Hampshire next week. She will hold a town hall on Thursday at Exeter Town Hall and another one Friday at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College in Manchester. The former South Carolina governor and UN ambassador is expected to announce her run for president next week, which would make her the second Republican formally in the race. Well, look, a site you might see, say, on a safari spotted Roaming the streets of Massachusetts. I cannot get over this video. Police in Brockton were super busy this afternoon tracking down this, the runaway emu. Social media video showing a giant bird running through town, even keeping pace with a car. Uh, if you're wondering, this emu's name is Mallory, so that's Mallory there. Her owners say she got loose today, and when they tried to corral her back into the pen, that is when she got spooked by a truck. And if you have never tried it, trust us, catching an emu, not that easy. They can do about 35, so she was flying. She ran all the way up to the intersection and then cut into a field. I got up to her at the field, and then I was walking with her there, and she wouldn't come to. She was terrified. You could see she was terrified. The emu going 35. After about three hours on the run, Mallory's owner, police, along with Good Samaritan, able to corner her in a parking lot. Mallory had to ride home in the SUV, but her owner says she is going to be okay. And wildlife experts in New Hampshire are helping some loons make an escape. Take a look at this. These loons were iced in on Newfound Lake and Winnipesaukee. Loons can actually only get around by swimming and flying, but when they get surrounded by ice, they just don't have enough room to take off. So biologists scoop them up and drop them off in the ocean. That's where they usually go for the winter. Scientists also gave the loons little bracelets so they can identify them later.